you said Rocky? No. G'day guys, welcome to the vlog. I am at the moment just about to take off with my sister. We're going to Warrigal. Got to run around for a little bit today. Then while we're out, we might go thrifting. We'll see what's up. Right now though, I'm just drinking a coffee. I'm warming up in a nice cold day today. So I just had to drop Shania off to go to the pool. What did you have to go to the pool for? What were you doing there? Uh, I was doing my forms for my work placement that I'm starting on Friday. So she's learning to be like a teacher, if you want to call it that. She's doing like a sport, a school sporting thing. They say you're allowed to rock up at the pool that like this Friday, right? Yeah, this Friday. That's awesome. Plus you get free entry, so why not? You're surrounding yourself with um, uh, active lifestyle, so yeah. you're going to keep active. So Shania is just heading into the school. I just took her up to one of the schools here because she needs to get like this logbook thing. I think it's like a logbook that logs like what hours she does of like learning or whatever. It's kind of like the logbook you get for your learners. It's just to have evidence and proof that you have been putting in the hours to learn the craft. And then I think after that we're going to Fountain Gate, which is probably like half an hour drive from here. And in between that, hopefully we'll do some thrifting. However, this morning I did wake up to a few sales, maybe about five sales this morning. Thanks, mate. How'd you go? Pretty good. All the kids are so excited to see me. <laughs> Before we leave this town, just stopping at a Vinnie's. Is that all right? Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna hit up the thrift here just quickly, see if we can find anything. I promised myself I wouldn't thrift this week, but I just can't help myself. So I just got out of that Vinnie's and I picked up like three items. Let me get to the car and show you guys, it's just raining outside here. So I just got out of that thrift, I'm not going to show you what I picked up yet. I still got to do a few things with Naya and then when I get home I'll show you guys what I picked up. But if you have noticed already, I'm wearing a brand new hat. This is one of the items that I just got from the thrift. It is a Adidas Equipment Vintage Hat. It's not snapback, it's sort of like a tieback one but it has leather on the brim here and it's sort of suede under the bottom, suede -ish. it's sort of suede under the bottom. Pretty sick hat, paid five bucks for it. I'm gonna put it on Etsy for around 30 to 35 bucks and see how it goes, but it is a pretty sick hat. I actually really like it. It's back in the day when Adidas was called Adidas Equipment. Guys, check this out. They have this Alpine jacket in here. It's like a vintage jacket. It's pretty cool. They want $9.25. So as you saw, I got that Alpine. It's called an Alpine by someone. I should look that up. Can you quickly look at that? Um, where is it? By Jetsons. Jetsons? So the brand is Alpine by Jetsons. One sold on eBay for about 110 bucks, but it was a more of a bright colored one. And then one similar color to that one sold for about 80 bucks. But I'm gonna put it up for about a hundo and see how I go with that. I paid $9.25. So here's a better look at this Alpine jacket. It's got some kind of fur lining all over the inside. And here is the tag as well. Then the other two items I picked up from the previous thrift that I didn't get to show you guys was this Torelli wool vintage Kuji style made in Australia size medium jumper sweater thing. I only really picked this up because I just sold that Alberto one that I showed you guys in the previous video and that sold pretty quickly and considering it's like winter here so it's like maybe the season for it. I did pay five bucks for this one. It isn't a really desired brand. However, it's still that vintage Kuji style which people dig. Some people just love it. So I'm gonna put it up for about 25 to 30 bucks. So I need to get a shipment out of some stuff that I've sold today. I've got about six or seven items that need to get shipped out. But as I was doing that, or as I was just about to do that, but as I was just about to do that, I started watching this video here called Do You Want to Own a Clothing Brand? And it's something that I'm looking into doing and I'm sort of working on it at the moment. So I've just been watching this dude's video here. If you wanna watch it, if you're interested in the subject, I'll have a link down below for that. But it's some pretty insightful stuff. Check this out guys, we're just out and about and spotted this pretty sick Ford Sunliner camper van. The thing's decked out inside, it's got beds, they got a microwave, they got a stove top. The thing is absolutely set out. I wish I had this thing, it is pretty ugly, but it is a home on wheels. Something that I really want. It is absolutely awesome. 
So today I've just been running after my sister basically all day. I'm getting back from running after her and it is five past four and I still haven't got a shipment out and plus I also have to get a housework list completed before mum gets home. Well, not before she gets home, but I just have to get it done, I guess. She did make me a list. She never makes me a list. I was surprised to see it there this morning and half the stuff I subconsciously already did, but I still got to get a few more things done. So when I get back home, First of all, I need to get this shipment out, so I'll show you guys what I sold today. You guys did get a little bit of an insight earlier on, but I'll see if I can quickly show you while I package this stuff up because I've only got like 50 minutes till they close. About a 20 minute to half an hour drive from where I am right now. So I just got back home and I quickly got done with the shipment. I got seven items to get out. I have five minutes to get to the post office. I have my Jan Sport hiking bag, chock block full of parcels, and I've also got a parcel here as well. But when I get back home, and I calmed down a little bit because I'm in such a rush. I'll share with you guys what I sold today. So I was in a mad rush earlier to get the shipment out, but let me just quickly show you what I sold. If you didn't get to see it earlier on, I did show like a quick screenshot of it that I did sell today on my phone. So if you didn't see that, here's a quickly but more in-depth look at what I sold today. So just these Adidas tracksuit pants, these sold for 25 bucks. And then I sold a pair of these VFL, AFL, Blue Star footy shorts, some footy shorts in the size extra large. They sold for 20 bucks. I remember paying $2.25 a piece for these. They were in one of my earlier vlogs. Then we have the Los Angeles LA Lakers Michelin Ness snapback. This one sold. It sold for 25 bucks. This was a regular wear for me. I was wearing it day in, day out. However, it is sad days, but I have to say goodbye and let it go. It is out the door and no longer on my head so this one is sold then i sold this navman my 50t 4.7 inch gps navigator i sold this for 29 bucks and i paid two dollars fifty cents for this particular one i found two navigators in a box together for five bucks at a thrift and the other one was a garmin which is worth about 50 bucks if you didn't see that one but yeah i sold this one for 29 bucks so i made my profit back on just this one item plus some out the door went this Carlo Alberto vintage Kuji style sweater. Not one of the most colorful ones you'll ever see. However, it did sell. I think I took an offer of 49 bucks for this one. I paid around $9 or so for this from memory. That's it from me, everyone. Thank you for watching the vlog. I'm just working on getting my listings done for today and some other work as well that I hadn't got done earlier on today. But I'm going to bed soon. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give me a thumbs up. And also drop a comment down below. If you have any questions, I'll see you guys in tomorrow's one. Bye.